Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you so much for always watching. My name is Arietta Uzoechi, and I'm so glad to do this with you every day, sharing the word of God to you, stirring up the spirit, stirring up the spirit in you to learn more of your father every single day. Every word of the Lord matter. So let's dive. We're going to read the book of Ezekiel chapter 17, verses 8. It says, It was planted in a good soil by great waters that it might bring forth branches that it might bear fruit, that it might be godly vine. Like it was planted also in a, in a great soil, good beside great waters, as in everything was intact. So, say thou, thus, say thou, thus said the Lord God, shall it prosper? Shall it prosper? You know what, this is, this is like the Bible verse that says, that they that build the house, build in vain, if the Lord has not built the house. You might think with your own particular knowledge and everything you know, you have done everything you could do. You wake up, you go to work, you do business deal and everything. But yet, our father is asking, shall it prosper? Shall he pull up the roots? Shall he not pull up the roots, Jero, and cut off the fruits, Jero, that it withered? It shall wither in all of the leaves of our spring, even without great power of or many people to plug it up by the root zero something that does not have its foundation especially with christ it will definitely wither you don't even need people to tell you this is where you will end up or this is how it's going to be definitely once your foundation is not right with christ whatever you're doing on top when the wind comes it just blow it or when the cross is coming it will steal the word away from your heart and before you know it still just start but the fruits that you are bearing just starts dying from the fruit, the roots. That's why we just need this God all the time. He said, abide with me. Abide with me and you will be able to bear fruit. He is the vine. Hallelujah. It says, Yea, behold, being planted, shall it prosper? Shall it not utterly wither? When the east wind toucheth it, it shall wither in the furrow where it grew. Hallelujah. It's no point starting something without Christ. So, because you know the end here will not be good. So, if you are starting anything, be it your marriage, be it your career, be it your business, let God be the foundation of it so that it will bear fruit for everlasting for generations to come because our God will be with you. God bless you so much. Share, subscribe, let the Lord of God go out there through you every single day. What you should know is that everything I am doing, my life, everything I live, I breathe, and have my being in him so everything we do should all circle around this god god should be the center of it all god bless you so so much